Hey guys, it's me, Brianna. I'm back with another video for you. So today is gonna be a full face of Sephora makeup. Um, today I ordered, or today I received my package that I ordered about two weeks ago. Um, it's not just Sephora makeup. I have a bunch of brands. I have Fenty, Urban Decay. I have a Tarte, um, a Tarte product. I have KVD Beauty, some Natasha Denona. I also have some NARS. Uh, Huda Beauty Neon Palette. That's my palette I'll be using today, which is this beautiful little guy right here. Um, I do have an eye look I want to do. It's pretty dramatic, but you know what? We're going for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. This is what we got so far, just those two pink colors. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. So I went ahead and just cut my crease on both sides. I use this mini NARS Radiant Concealer in Light One Chantilly. Just a little mini concealer. I'm just trying it out because NARS is pretty expensive, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. This is what I got so far. I like it. I use the concealer. It's pretty sticky, um, but we're going to go ahead and use two of these shimmer shades. We're going to use this bright pink and this light pink here. I'm probably going to create like a halo eye and let's go. So the brush didn't really work with that shade, so I'm just going to take it on my finger. So I'm just going to give my brush a quick spray with my Urban Decay setting spray and I'm going to just dip into that see if it'll give me some better payoff on what I'm doing. Obviously we're going to clean up this area when um, I start to do my face. So I use the two colors that I like. Um, for it being a neon palette I would expect it to be a little bit more vibrant for the glitter. I don't know. It looks fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and did my left eye. It turned out pretty good, pretty good. 
I did clean up the lower lash, or sorry, clean up my lower area with a makeup wipe, and we're gonna move on with the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. This is uh, my first time using this. It comes in a pump bottle as well. It doesn't really have a scent to it, so that's good. Um, it feels pretty sticky, so that's good as well. I like a little tacky primer. Okay. Not bad, I like it. So let's go ahead and see how the foundation applies. So I'm actually testing a new foundation, so if I don't like the way it looks, I will try each of them separately with different primers and different foundations just to see. But um, I did go ahead and purchase two Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundations. So I got the shades 120, which is right here, and 100. I don't know which one will be best for me. We might end up mixing them, I'm not too sure. They also come with a pump bottle just like the primer did. So let's go ahead and get right into it, okay? Does it really look that pale? Hmm. All right, so we're just gonna start over with my foundation because for whatever reason, it just looks so pale on camera, but in person it doesn't look as bad, but. Shade 100 is too light for me, which is pretty crazy to even say because of the fact that I'm normally pretty light in all foundations, like I'm pretty porcelain. That's the color I am in most foundations, porcelain. And while we let that sit in, let's go ahead and just um, apply some black eyeliner to the top part of our lid. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our foundation. We're just gonna go ahead and take the Fenty Beauty Pro Hydrating Foundation in the shade 120. Why does it look so light on camera? I don't know, maybe it's the lighting. I wouldn't consider this more than two pumps, honestly, because that pump is kind of weird. Well, you guys are gonna have to deal with me looking like a pale ghost, but this is not an accurate representation of the foundation color. So I will have to try it again in natural lighting for you guys, but I do like the way it looks with the primer. Looks good, my skin looks like skin. So we're gonna go take the NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Chantilly Light One. I've never used an ours product before, so that's good, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I like it so far.
Well, we're gonna go ahead and try the Kat Von D setting powder in translucent. It's in this little pot right here. I don't know if this is a, um, a mini size, but it might be, but I bought it because I wanted to try it out. I think it was on sale, honestly. I don't remember. So we're gonna take our Luxie brush for the powder. So I don't normally set my face um, with powder, but I am trying out this powder, so we're gonna try it out. And also the foundation is obviously a hydrating one, and I don't want my, uh, my powders on top of the foundation to skip. Like my bronzer highlight and my blush, which I have a highlight and blush to try that's new. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara, my eyelashes, and my eyebrows, and I shall return. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my eyelashes and these and my eyebrows. So these are the Baddington Lashes um, Monroe in 3D Silk. Um, I didn't realize like how expensive these lashes were. I got them at a BoxyCharm about a year ago, and they're 20 something dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> so. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the face. Um, I did my eyebrows as well with my L'Oreal Mic Ring Pen. So we're gonna go ahead and use this Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Duo. That's the shade name I'm assuming, because that's all this is on the back. So let's go ahead and use it. So I don't have a new lip, pro I have new lip products to try, but I don't have them in any color that would go with this eye. These are the three mini KVD lipsticks I did get, and they do not go with the eye. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and use just the My Boxum Lip Gloss in sugar, which is my favorite. I'm just gonna add a little bit more bronzer. I feel a little pale on screen. Okay guys, this is the final look I've created for you today. Um, I think it turned out really well for my first impression wise. I think it looks really good. The, you guys might think the foundation looks a little bit light on me, but in person it doesn't look light at all. Hey guys, editing Brianna here. Um, the foundation matches me just fine when I'm reviewing it now in my footage. I don't know why in my viewfinder it makes me look so much paler than I actually am in person, but if you are thinking about purchasing this foundation, don't let that fool you. I am shade 120. It matched me really well. Um, but yeah, that's all I just want to jump on here and say, and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. So let's go ahead and start with our base. The primer looks really good underneath this foundation. I have no complaints over that. I'm definitely gonna be testing out the primer with a different foundation, probably the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in the color Swan, which I recently purchased and I do love that foundation. I think it looks really good on my skin. With the Huda Beauty Neon Palette that I have right here, I think it looks really pretty. Um, the end result looks good. Shimmers, I did have to build up pretty well. I had to get them wet to have them pretty much apply to it. The purple that I have underneath my my new crease, I guess you could say, 
I did have to go over it a few times, but it, again, I'm not sure if that's because it's over the hot pink color or not, but as of right now, I'm okay with the palette. I definitely will use it again. Probably in another tutorial, I'll go ahead and do like an all purple look, I think. That'll be really pretty. Um, the Natasha Blush and Glow Highlighting Duo. I really, really think that this is such a beautiful combination. I did get it in the mini because Natasha Denona is expensive. And this wasn't even cheap. This was like 20 bucks. <laughs> and it's tiny. So, I don't know. I really like it. I wanted to buy something in a mini size just to go and try it out. Maybe I'll go ahead and buy some of her mini palette eyeshadows. Um, I saw a few on Sephora that I really liked. Like the, there was like a green palette that looked really pretty. So I most likely will be purchasing more from her line even though it is expensive, but it could be a good buy. Who knows? Um, What else did I try? Oh, the powder underneath my eye looks really good on top of the NARS Mini Radiant Concealer in Chantilly. These two combination looks really good, really young and really fresh under my eye. I'm not getting any younger, you guys. I am pushing 30. So this is quite nice um, for me. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's all for you guys. If you liked what you see in today's video, go ahead and give me a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.